Hey, y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Don't you be afraid to go ahead, come through, hit that bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team is up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you like what you see, please go ahead and hit me up for personal readings at dftarot at gmail.com. Also, if you like the content over on this channel, okay, you know, send a little love offering, a little something so I can give you some little books, you know, a little cheese, a little something, okay, over at DFTarot at PayPal or DFTarot at Cash App. And if you got a little tea, like you just want to share something or read and touch your soul, girl, go hit me up at dftbox at gmail.com. I will get back to each one of y'all that, that reach out to me over there. I'm promising y'all. Okay, I know y'all probably feel like, ah, oh, I sent something. Y'all, I have to get comfortable because I like to get really, you know, read and really see what's going on with everybody when I go over to that DFT box. But girl, go on here and hit me up, okay? I'm trying to tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm there. It's me and you, okay? Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to tell y'all what I am getting. I'm going to tell y'all exactly what I'm getting the way I got it. There is a masculine out there. Yeah. Who is throwing a tantrum. I'm giving you to y'all the way I'm getting it. Okay, the way it was given to me. Who is throwing a tantrum. This man is throwing a tantrum and he may have, um, I don't know, silent treatment or, um, you know, let's take a break or, you know, whatever he's done. Whatever he's done, it has not been successful, okay, in terms of him getting the results from you that he may have wanted or been looking for. He is not seeing the emotional return from you that he wants. Um, whoever you are, I'm seeing um, Femi Fatale energy, somebody new to stand up for themselves, prioritize themselves, walk away from the foolery. You did not give this man the return that he was expecting to get from you emotionally for his shenanigans. Um, and you did categorize them as shenanigans because I don't know why that word came to me. You did categorize them as shenanigans. You do not see his behavior as something that you need to quickly respond to, okay? So, um, with that being said, um, let's go ahead and leap, leap into it, Okay. Um, we're trying to figure out what's going on. The question that I'm getting is that we're going to look and see what your message of confidence and self-awareness and like whoever you are, Femme Fatale, you literally just put your lipstick on and kept going, girl. You said, I, I will do all that over here. Okay. Um, but we're just going to peek in. Okay. We're going to peek in on him and kind of see um, how he is taking it in your absence. Somebody is, I'm seeing him. He's kind of just peering a little bit like peering out a window or he's looking online. This is somebody that is looking for you, okay? Um, he's had a fit and it and, and it just didn't it didn't give. Okay, it just didn't give. So I'm gonna go ahead and see. Thief. Alright, 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 alright. Um, we see thief coming through the building. Um this man feels like you were laughing at him, first of all. He feels like you you see him as amusing. This man is somehow, he, he's a bit crippled. He may even have an issue in real life, like he may have an issue with his leg. But at the very least, he is spiritually and emotionally taking a hit, some kind of embarrassment based on um, you're not being interested in, you know, I guess coddling his ego, okay? This is something that has affected this man and kind of left him feeling a little imbalanced. Um, but there's something shifty, okay, that's going on with this man. Um, also, while this man is trying to show you that he doesn't care that you just kind of kikied and what he feels like was emasculating him by moving on with life, this man is on the verge of losing something important to him, okay? There is an extenuating circumstance here, okay? So we see courtship. We see four of wands energy present here. Um, this man failed at, at courting you. He really did. He failed. He feels he failed to hold your attention. However, this went, the fact that you are not calling him back, you don't realize this man takes this as a failure of his of his masculinity, of his ability to court, of his ability to be solid and be standing on his uh standing on business. 
okay? And keeping your attention. He feels that he failed at that. Um, he really does. He feels like he was not successful and that even though he may have sat with you and tried to present himself as a gentleman and understand this was a masculine that was presenting himself as a gentleman. So you're getting someone that their energy was that of I'm being on my best behavior and presenting myself. So we're seeing very much I'm getting an energy of a Capricorn or a Scorpio. OK, one one is a water sign, one is an earth sign. But these are the energies that are coming to me. OK, could be, you know, prominent in their chart or something that's prevalent around them. But either way, this is a situation where someone is really feeling like. You know, what did I do wrong? She she wasn't really checking for me. You know, what's the problem? Okay. So this is a man that really feels like, you know, I'm just saying, you know. He's really feeling like, you know. Uh, he, he didn't hold your attention, okay? This man feels like something that happened, something that went on between y'all kind of took you away from him. Um, you were still able to get away from him. This is where he feels he failed. This man may have felt that he was putting on his A game. Um, and I kind of get the vibe that his ancestral, his ancestors and their energy around him, they're not really pleased with the way he went about this, okay? This man was being du duplicitous or shady or dishonest in some way. And he thought that if he just showed up and kind of put on airs and did his one too, it was going to bring you into a space where y'all were connecting. It didn't. It actually left y'all at odds. If you can see that, okay, this male and female are back to back. Okay, this kind of left you at odds. And when the opportunity came for you to pull up out of it, you pulled up out of it because he wasn't being right. And I'm going to tell you something. A big part of the issue here had to do with the fact that this man was in a position, okay, where... He was trying to present himself as something and not realizing that who you are is always going to shine through, especially with a divine feminine, because you were able to see through and kind of see, like, I can tell you, you're being inauthentic right now. Like, who do you think you're fooling type of energy? Okay. You weren't buying it. Um, there was a, a certain snake oil salesman vibe to this masculine and you saw through that. You was like, no, no. This is not, you, you're not giving me your, your realest self. You saw through this, okay? You saw through this and you really weren't going. We actually gonna jump into a little bibliomancy, y'all already know, okay? Um, we gonna go ahead and jump into a little bit. Um, y'all, we just gonna pick a random scripture, okay? Because we've we seen the word, we've seen biblical pull up. We're gonna see, because there, there's something else at play, okay? Women's study Bible, okay, for those who ask, okay? Uh, but there's something else at play here that we just kind of want to jump into, look into. Okay, what's T? What's going on here? Okay, we're just going to read, okay? Um, and see what, what's going on. What is it giving? We're in Revelations, okay, 2 and 16. Repent, therefore, otherwise I will soon come to you and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. Okay, whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who is victorious, I will give some of the hidden manna. I will also give that person a white stone with a new name written on it, known only to the one who receives it. Okay, y'all, that was two, Revelations 2 and 17, 2, 16 through 17, okay? So I'm going to tell y'all something right before I started this reading, I was getting this or not going to say getting, I was hearing the, you know, impossible things are happening every, okay. Impossible. Um, there is a twist of fate related to this relationship somehow. Um, there is a twist of fate present here. We saw there were revelations two and 17. Um, we see that there is going to be some different things that are going to come into play within this relationship. Okay. We also see that there's going to be something sacred that comes into play in this relationship. Something is, there's a shift coming here and it makes sense to me because I told y'all with this angel present here on this card, this four courtship, four wands energy card, we see that there was some ancestral energy present. Okay. There is an overlooker to this relationship, spiritually speaking. Okay. 
Um, this is also lover's card energy on this card that is not happy with the way that this man went about approaching you in this situation. Okay, there are hidden messages. We saw hidden manner. There are some hidden mess messages that do come into play as it relates to this particular relationship. Okay, now, first and foremost, we want to talk about the thing that we noticed. We talked about swords and what comes from the mouth. This man has spoken some of his thoughts to you before and they have been problematic. There's some things this man has said to you that he shouldn't have said that caused issues within the relationship. This man has made some poor decisions at times with the things that have come out of his mouth. However, what we saw there, there is hidden manner. So there is something hidden, something not yet seen that is going to come into play in this relationship. Again, there is some type of twist of fate. Something out of the ordinary. Something that doesn't look like it would happen, okay? Based on what's happened between you and this man, this does not look like the obvious next step, okay? But we're going to go ahead and figure out what it's giving. This does not look like the obvious next step, okay? There's something unusual. Child, I know y'all ain't saying marriage because even I didn't see that coming and I knew we was going to see something that I wasn't going to expect to see coming and I didn't even expect to see that, okay? Now, see... Yeah, there's something unusual coming to this. We know that it's sacred energy because we know there was a secret name that was going to come upon a white stone, okay? And we know that white comes through to change things, to uh, kind of represent transformation and otherworldly energy, or healing, medicine man or medicine woman. So there is something unique that is still coming to this relationship, even though this man just said all the wrong things, child. We see mature man. Okay, and we see pay attention to the red flags. So we know there are some red flags present here. We know there is some type of twist of fate that lives just below the surface of this reading, honey, and this relationship in this situation. So, Spirit, what is it? Because already we're kind of seeing two, we're seeing dual paths. Okay, for this relationship, we see distant horizons. So what is it that's coming around the bend? Okay, something that's coming around the bend. Communal living, okay, and wisdom. Hmm. It is safe for you to love. The problem with this man, he doesn't know how to love. What I'm literally hearing is I'm hearing music, teach me how to love, show me the way to surrender, okay? Y'all, that's the message. Thank you, Spirit. That's the message. That's the message. That's the message. You know that, that, that stone with the secret name that we saw being bestowed? That's it. This man doesn't know how to love. That is the secret that he would have to get. That is the hidden manner. That's what you don't even get about the man. This man doesn't know how to love. This man does not know how to love. That is the red flag with him. That is where all the problems are coming from. That's why he said some mess out of his mouth that left you like, oh, well, then you know what? You just don't even have to call me no more. That, that's how y'all got to that point. This man does not know how to love, but we're hearing something from his heart. Teach me how to love. This man, would he desires the hidden manna. This man wants to not be the type of bozo that says something and he says something he shouldn't say. He doesn't want to be shady and shysty in love. This man doesn't know how to be any other kind of way. He thought what he should do is act the part. He doesn't understand that love is divine. You can't just come up and act like you're in love. You have to get in touch with source. You have to learn how to give divine love. Any divine feminine energy that's really looking for something real and solid is going to see straight through. Okay? You popping up here at the corner talking about if I wear the right clothes and the right cologne, I'm going to look like the type of guy that love. No, you're not. No, you're not. And you're going to be obvious to a woman that really has her wits about herself. She's not going to believe you just because you're sitting there acting as if it's though. That's not going to be enough. And so you saw his inauthenticity, but his authenticity, his shadiness, his confusion is directly connected to this man doesn't really know how to love. Okay, not in a, not in a relationship. He doesn't have a clue. 
This man was sitting before you. He was nervous. You didn't know this man was nervous. This man was sensitive. This man didn't really know, you know, what to do. We're seeing, I'm seeing he's kind of overwhelmed and mesmerized by you. And he feels like he didn't know how to get your attention. That's what this man is truly angry about. He feels that his best game wasn't good enough or his best presentation. I won't even call it game. This man thought that that was the right thing to do. I'm going to show up. I'm going to be like, you know, Billy D. Williams and Lady Sings the Blues or something. You know, he was putting on airs and you could tell. You was just like, you know, I'm not, you weren't horribly impressed by his attempts to be lover man, okay? Because you could tell that it wasn't real. You could see the inauthenticity in it, okay? This man is very guarded, okay? He's guarded, okay? He's guarded. He's very immature when it comes to love. We see knighthood. We see child, okay? So spirit is giving us the whole picture, honey, because y'all saw we, we asked for some basics, okay? But mother, mm, mm, mm. we see mother, we see child, and we see high honor. So this man actually holds the mothering woman, the divine feminine, okay, in high regard. Um, but he is very childish. And he relates like a child. That's all he knows how to do. This man does not know how to kind of boss up and stand in um, the love that a man would give a woman. And what I'm hearing is that it's because he didn't see it at home. His father may have been a bit spoiled and infantile, kind of a spoiled man that his mother just took care of. So you are calling upon this man to kind of move towards a higher level of masculinity. Baby, he don't know how to do that. He thought that he would show up, maybe he showed up with some kind of superficial, shallow offerings. You know, don't you love me? I brought wine. Don't you love me? I got chocolates. You know, I got, if anybody ever saw, this is random, but if anybody ever saw the movie Saturday Night Fever, this is really the energy that is giving me. I, I've seen this energy on my board before, if y'all recall. The character in there, Tony Manera, like he was a cheap hood. And he met this girl who was a little more sophisticated than what he was giving. And she was a dancer. And he wanted to appeal to her. But low-key, he didn't have a clue. Like, he was a cheap hood, still chewing with his mouth open, hanging with a bunch of bozos. Like, Saturday Night Fever is a lit movie, just for the fact. Okay, y'all already know what it is. Y'all need to go ahead and look at that. But it's a classic. But at the same time... He he didn't know how to love this woman. Like, he didn't have any of the tools he needed. And he was going to feel like if he showed up and he wore his little leather jacket, like, he was get like, am I not giving it to you? Like, I'm here, I'm ready. No, you're not giving it. He didn't have a clue how to be a man and be mature and offer love as a grown man who has some plans or some ambitions. He simply didn't know anything about it. So his way of going about things was a bit manipulative because this is this is what he know to bring to the table. Okay? So we see ships again. There is a change coming to this that has to do with the spiritual, that has to do with the energies outside of the relationship, outside of this realm. And the interesting thing about it is we're seeing this, but currently right now I'm telling y'all this relationship is not really in service. Um and I'm seeing this coming from him. He thought if he gave you a break, you was going to run back. Or he thought if he put you on silent treatment or you, you know, whatever argument, whatever happened, you continue to pledge forward with your own life. Again, I saw uh, Femi Fatale energy. You're not the type of woman that's going to sit and do and like you was like, no, baby, if you don't want to be here. The door is open. You went out of it. What do you want me to do? This man is used to being in an immature space. So he's used to dealing with the karma feminine. This is a man who thought you were going to chase. Period. This is a man that thought you were going to chase him. Okay. He thought you were going to chase him. He thought that you were going to be on his heels. He was sure of it by the way. Okay. He thought that surely... She's going to be back any minute. That did not occur. And there's going to be some spiritual intervention with this, okay? Now, this is interesting. This is another one of them turns and cards I didn't expect to pull. So we see the baby card here, and that's very significant. Significant. Because if there is a child involved in this, okay? Either a child that needs to be born out of the ethers and into the earth plane. There could be a grandchild, niece, or nephew that needs to be raised. 
okay? There could be a sibling, somebody has a young sibling that needs to be raised, but I'm going to tell y'all something. If there is a child involved in this at all that needs to be raised, what I can promise you from what we're given here is that spirit is going to make sure that that happens. And that's always the case. If there's somebody that needs to be introduced to the bloodline, whether that is um, being brought in spiritually or being birthed in through the, through the actual womb, spirit is going to make sure that that occurs, okay? Period. And things will be shifted and moved around to accommodate that new energy, okay? Sometimes a baby has to get here, has to be of a particular bloodline or of two particular bloodlines, it's going to happen, okay? It's, it's, it's just what's going to happen. Okay, we see privileged lady. So by you not moving, coming towards this man after he pulled the, 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 the he tried it. Okay, he tried it. After you not coming towards this man after he tried it, um, this man is in a position with you now where he kind of doesn't know what to do to get back to you, but you need to understand this sister, your value in this man's mind just went through the roof. Okay. This man, remember there's an issue of him really knowing how to love. And there's some things that he needs to get spiritual intervention with right now. This man is seeing you in a, as a very high value woman, because again, you didn't get on your knees. You didn't crawl back. This man is seeing like, Hey, that's not what we do. Okay. I'm not doing the karmic feminine thing. You are a man. Let me tell you something. You're already teaching this man to love you. You may not realize this, but you're already teaching this man to love you. You are. You're already teaching this man to love you. Um, and the way you're teaching this man to love you is simply by kind of, you, you quietly steered him towards, hey, I'm a lady of some respect, prestige. I'm not going to just sit here and be treated this way. Okay? So your silence has placed you on the pedestal that he forgot you were supposed to be on in the first place. Hey, man, we were supposed to be on the pedestal all the time. But you know, they, get, they get confused. They get confused. And so your silence has placed you back on that pedestal and communicated to him quietly. If you plan to get any manifestation going with me, because this privileged, privileged lady on this card is standing here in Empress Energy. This is card one. This card is one and two, 12, okay, equal three. So this is Empress Energy. And what you are letting him know is that I do stand in Empress energy. I am going to sit here quietly and do what I have to do. And so this man is learning his first step, okay? You can't love like how you tried it. That's not going to work. When you do that, you get nothing. When you do that, you lose my energy. When you do that, you don't hear from me anymore. When you do that, you walk out the door and you can stay on. So you've already kind of implanted a certain energy to him that, hey, that's not the way that we do it, okay? That, that's already being impressed upon him, okay? Persecution and inquisition. Now, I want you to really catch this. A woman who exalts herself, okay, or places herself on a pedestal, there may be some inquisition, per, per, persecution and inquisition that is thrown her way. I always tell y'all, this goes straight back to the days of the witch hunts. Okay, when there were masculine energies that just said, hey, she's a woman, she like herself, you know, she told somebody she didn't want some grapes or something. You know, it didn't take much back then in the witch hunts for you to end up getting persecuted for being a witch. You just had to simply be outspoken or say you didn't like this or that, or maybe your husband died and you had to do with it. He just had TB, and now they're saying that you're some kind of witch. But we do go back to this energy, okay? So there's a part of this man right now you need to know, even though you're communicating to him, this is who I am, this is the pedestal that I sit on, this man is experiencing some level of, of anger towards you right now. You know, anytime, and it's expected, you're teaching, he's learning something new. Um, as we saw, there is some level of spiritual intervention present here. He got to catch this tea. You don't do it like this. So right now, this man is upset with you. Anybody that's like, oh, well, why he didn't call me back? Because he's upset that you're forcing him to hold you at a certain regard. You're forcing him to understand that when you walk out of these doors, out of those doors, when you set yourself out in the hall, out in the hall is where you're going to be, sir. Okay? And this man is upset that he's being forced to, to like, look, I don't know who you thought. Okay, 
So this man has some level of upset with you at this particular time. If you wonder why you're not hearing back from him, you're not hearing back from him because he doesn't care for, for the discipline that he's getting uh, handed right now. Okay? Trust, okay? So this man is in a position with you now where he actually would want you to trust him. Why would you trust him after he played these games? But this man is in a position where he's kind of looking down on himself and he's kind of saying, well, if she had just trusted me, then I, he's not ready to accept accountability for the fact that he's the reason that this thing went left. There's still some energy there of that, okay? So this man is still imprisoned and enslaved in his mind in a sense where he's not really ready to just go ahead and say, you know, I blew this. I am the reason this relationship went left, okay? I am the reason that things are not the way they should have been. And you are not responsible for acquiescing and bowing to him or calling him back or sending him something on the cash app or sending him an apple pie, peach, cobbler, cheesecake, or a ham. This man should have did what he was supposed to do when he had you. He don't want to hear that wherever he's at, okay? Because this masculine energy right now, I'm going to tell you, is in a resistant space, okay? He's feeling resistant, He's upset. He's being forced to follow these rules, but it is what it is. Okay? So he's struggling right now. Again, he has to be taught how to love. And what we're seeing here where God is so cold with it, okay, where God is just gives with it, is that in your absence, he's being taught. So understand, the divine feminine can teach him what she does not do. This man is not in a position with you right now where he's being forced upon you in any way. He walked out the door and God is still giving him the lesson. Okay. God is still giving him this lesson. Period. He's not able to get away from it. He's not able to get around it. He's going to have to understand that this, this you will have to respect if you want this particular woman. Okay. Five of swords. This man feels betrayed by you. Okay. And you're, you're standing his ground is making him see you as victorious. But right now, this man is very resentful of this because, again, he doesn't want to sit there and realize that he did wrong. He's saying, if she had just trusted me, if she had just believed in me, if she had just chose me, but you wasn't doing things right. You was being inauthentic. OK, you were showing up just thinking because you had on a little suit and you had some look, some little candies and some little bent over flowers that somebody was supposed to sit up here and take you seriously and treat you as a man. You weren't doing the full job and you thought that the little bit of job you did was so cold. And baby, if I walk out your life, you're going to really be losing something. You was like, I'm not losing anything. OK, I'm not losing much of anything. OK, and the twist of fate in this I'm getting is the way that this man is getting this lesson. OK, this man is getting this lesson because you're not there. Mm. Lord, this man is getting this lesson because you're not there. How about it? Won't she do it? OK, point blank, period. So when you get into that particular space, you realize where he's coming from and what he's all about. OK. Page of Wands. So this message is coming through to this man loud and clear because you're becoming more and more of the heroine in his story. You're becoming more and more of the divine essence in his story. He is being forced to see you for what you are and he is being forced to see himself for what he's not. Okay. He's being forced to say, hey, you really weren't doing your best there. You really weren't communicating. You really did think that one box of chocolates was going to get you in the door for life. You really did think you could do the bare minimum. You really did think you could show up and lie. You really did think you didn't have to explain your past. You really did think you didn't have to give her the, the truth about this or that. You really did think you was going to be able to walk in and out that lady house without really presenting her with the real and the facts of the things of the things. This man really believed that that bare minimum he was giving you was some high level strange bullshit and it wasn't. Yes, I did bring strange into it and it wasn't. Okay. King of Wands energy. Okay. So this man is catching this fade. Spirit is getting on him. Y'all see this. Y'all see what Goddess is giving this man. He's getting a karma, a karma based lesson. This is what you get because this man showed up in this situation thinking that what he was giving was enough. And it wasn't. And you saw through it. You saw that he was deliberately giving you just, you know, give her what he thinks she won't. That's we, who, who, we, where we do that at? 
Okay, so y'all are in two different spaces at this particular moment. Um, we did see marital energy. We do see baby energy here. But right now, it ain't going down because this man got to get this lesson. We see you showing up. You spoke your piece. You was you was like, hey, this is what I'm going to do. So if, if you go, you go. Um, and this man's in a space right now where he's feeling angry. He's trying to reclaim his confidence from you. Okay, we see this. King of Wands, Queen of Swords. Please note, King of Wands and Queens of Swords is on they 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 in an opposing position. Does that not look just like the card we saw in the Oracle deck earlier on, where these two, the man and the woman, were back to back? So we're seeing that energy come through the building. And this is because you stood your ground. You're a thinker. You did not allow this man to hitch his fuckery to your emotions and just start dragging you all over the place. Okay, because unfortunately you have a lot of masculines that have not yet stepped into their divinity that do think that is the way to deal with a woman just put a ring in her nose and yank her all around by her emotions you were not going okay and the marital energy that he may have been talking that was not enough okay if these things come to pass they're gonna have to come to pass because spirit said they were gonna come to pass this man was not gonna be able to manipulate you into this coming to pass and that little suity hat on and also please keep in mind we saw earlier on this man is losing something dear to him while he's sitting up here thinking about how you supposedly got down on him or thinking you scoffed at his manhood because you stood up for yourself okay five of cups in reverse this man is in mourning now his self-esteem is so hit low key he thinks he probably can't can't keep any woman and i'm gonna tell you why this five of cups because we see on that three of cups is laid down in the floor so that man is on the five of cups the traditional five of cups this man is sitting back thinking that he can't keep a woman because of this and i'm gonna tell you why he thinks this this man thinks this because when he came to you with these bs and these games They've worked on other women. And now that he met one woman that it didn't work on, he's been totally emasculated, okay? He's like, oh, my God, you know, I'm not even going to be able to go back out there. Nobody going to want me. I done fell off, okay? He's in that type of time, okay? We see this Four of Cups. Um, actually, <laughs> you were offering yourself to him. Um, the problem is that his mind, his gaze was still fixed upon, once again, the energy of the three of cups. Okay. The energy of the karmic feminine, the same women that he thinks won't want him now. No, they will still want him. You're not going to want him though, because you were a divine feminine. This man's energy, his gaze, when he came to you, his ideology was still focused on the karmic feminine. Okay. That's why he thought he could offer you what he thought he could offer you. He actually did get an offer of a divine feminine with you. He doesn't see it that way, though, because you didn't roll over and allow him to take advantage of or use you or just get by with the bare minimum. So he don't even quite realize you really were being offered to him, okay, as a, as a probability for transformation in his life. He didn't even catch that as a probability for a child, a new child, a new baby, or a new opportunity of raising a child. He didn't see any of that. He didn't see any of that. He saw that he showed up with some dead flowers and, you know, an old Keep Sweat CD. And that's more than he usually do. And you didn't, you didn't honor that. That's what he sees. So he feels completely emasculated. So one of the real main problems and thoughts in this man's mind right now, again, like I keep saying, he doesn't want to accept accountability for the way that he treated you. Okay, temperance. He does not want to accept accountability. He just don't. He wants to be able to get away with what he what he was on. He want to get away with that. Okay, so we see temperance. With the Knight of Wands, okay? So, this man does try to return to you, okay? Um... He believes that you're in, in, a bit indifferent to him. Like you have one foot in and one foot out. Um, you've left him where he doesn't know how to gauge you emotionally. All of this, though, I just got to keep reiterating because it keeps coming, coming up on me. I keep hearing it. All of this is about the three of cups. It's about the type of woman that he's used to dealing with okay the type of woman that he's used to dealing with that would be okay with being treated this way would have thought that him showing up 
being inauthentic was cute. It's not cute. And it damn sure wasn't cute to you. That's the type of woman he's used to. So he's coming back to you. You really are way more mature than this man feminine. I need you to catch this. You're more mature and you're going to come back more poised. There may have been some type of like blowout or words exchange. We see with this Queen of Swords and King of Wands. When things took the pause or the ending or the transformation that they took. But once this man tries to come back your way, you're going to be like, listen, I'm not. I'm not really willing to go back down this emotional road with you, okay? But this man is going to come back. Notice we see the Knight of Wands coming back. He want to think he a King of Wands, okay? We see the Emperor energy here along with the Ace of Wands. So this man is going to try to come to you. Now, I need you to hear me. He is a Knight of Wands, sis. He is going to try to come to you and present himself as an emperor. This this is what he know how to do. Okay? He's going to come to you and try to present himself as an emperor. He's going to try to ask you for a new beginning. Um when the story starts, he wasn't even he wasn't even a uh a, a, a knight of wands. When the story starts, he came in as a thief. He came in as somebody trying to think maybe I can get all the love and all the goods and goodies from this woman without really showing her my authentic self, when me just being what I think she want to see, that didn't work, okay? You were able to knock that off of him just by your basic anointing, really, okay? You were able to kind of show him some of that hidden manner that we talked about earlier, that hidden manner, that hidden food, that hidden good, that baby, when you trying to get with a woman that has some spirituality, some spiritual energy, some spiritual um, food about herself, that little Don Johnson routine is not going to work. That's not what love is, is that you show up and give your best manners. However, that is what this man thought, okay? This is something that he thought was going to work. So this man is now going to show up as a knight of wands, um, somebody that is still, you know, there's a level of immaturity. There is passion. There is genuine energy behind what he's doing, but there's still a level of immaturity there. He's still potentially a flight risk. He's coming in very fast. He's going to come in kind of on a love bombing vibe. I don't want to call it love bombing because I don't think it's insincere, but it may be a little premature. You know, before y'all really have the conversations that need to be had, this man is going to try to come run in and say, oh, I got some flowers and some candy and some this and some that and let's go ahead and just get into it i want to be in a ten of cups with you he is going to bring you an offering however it may be an offering that you think is smaller than it, it ain't what you had in mind sis we'll put it like that it's not what you had in mind um but he does come with an offering okay king of swords energy this man has thought about you and how to attain you some kind of way he was forced by your absent absence to really sit down and be a little more calculated and a little more logical so in this man's absence he's had time to rethink his strategy towards you but what i do want you to notice is this man is very focused on getting you and getting into some type of relationship with you okay he is really sitting down thinking about this okay he's really giving it thought he's really giving it a piece of himself like, how can I, how can I make this work? How can I, you know, and he's really put his, some of his best time in this has been the, the thinking and the logic that he's tried to put into it. It has not as, it has not necessarily been the presentation because that ain't really where he shines. Okay. It has not necessarily been his way of expressing his passion. Knight of Wands, not, you know, this it ain't necessarily where he shines. Um, He's come through with a little anger. He doesn't always properly process or present his passions again knowing how to love and knowing what not to say are not his strengths okay they're not strengths for the king of wands either the king of wands can get angry um speak before thinking being impetuous etc however this man has really sat down and thought about what he wants from you okay He's put thought into this. We see the seven of pentacles coming in in the reverse. The reason this man has sat down and done so much thinking is because he really feels like all the roots that he put down were uprooted, okay, by you, okay? He's like, you didn't accept. We see the empress energy. You did not accept, 
what he was bringing to the table. You did not accept what he was offering. So this man has gone back because what he feels you said to him, and I'm telling you what's brilliant about it. Spirit is so cold. God is so cold. Teaching him how to love. I'm telling you, you did this by being absent. You silently gave him cues. You said, oh, that, that's not going to work. And what this man got from what you were saying and doing is that you're going to have to work harder. Okay, so as you are not calling him back, as you are not acquiescing, what he saw is you're going to have to think harder, eight of pentacles energy. You're going to have to think harder, king of swords, eight of pentacles energy. You're going to have to think harder, work harder, work smarter, do more for yourself and think harder. If you really want to get me, okay, if you really want to get me, you're going to have to think harder, think smarter, go harder, okay? Um, that was hurtful for this man. That really hurt his ego, nine of wands. There's been a certain ego crash, an ego clash, an ego smash that has happened with this masculine while you have been away, period. Um, this is something that kind of left him with some level of hurt, some level of embarrassment. I'm literally seeing him looking down, picking his nails, kind of embarrassed like he doesn't want to look me in the eye. This is a masculine that was left hurting, embarrassed, not hurt, just ashamed, embarrassed. He feels like he failed. He feels that the reality of who he is kind of came out in the open. We see the moon energy, okay? This was a situation where the, the parts of the relationship that were dark, that were mysterious, that were missing, they fell out into the open. The moon with the two of cups, he was not able to hide in the relationship. It's what he usually does. As long as he does the bare minimum little bullshit, them karmics be like, bro, Gerard love me. He take good care of his family, girl. He don't never miss. He can, girl, full box of ramen noodles, girl. Ground beef. Uh, look, look. Fifth of Hennessy, some craft singles, some tomatoes, some lettuce, girl. Some white bread, girl. Came over here with chicken flour and grease. Girl, he takes such good care of his family. They, they, this all they need. This is all they need. They don't need the rest. They don't need nothing else. They don't even know they're supposed to ask for it. You understand me? They don't even know they're supposed to ask for it. Yet he, they have no idea, okay? They think everything is straight. You know what I'm saying? Everything's good. Everything's copacetic, baby. He came through here ready. You know what I'm saying? We ain't seen him. We ain't seen him. He ain't came through. He ain't been doing his one-two. We don't know what's been going on with him, but he came through with the with the charade, the charade, the fake, the fake face of it all. I came through saving the day with the grocery. You know, I came through with some potatoes and chicken legs, you know, and he used to dealing with women where that's going to be enough. You know, he came through with that bottle, you know, and they, they feel like that's a good look. They came through. He came through with that Smirnoff. They feel like that's a lick. That's good enough. It's 420, baby. He came through with a bag. He came through with that, that ooh-wee. He came through with that, that blue. You know what I'm saying? He came through with that, that perp. He came, you know, just some nonsense. And this is what they've been letting him get away with. You know, whether it was that class level or another, my point is he's used to dealing with women that he can do the surface. He don't have to enrich them on the inside. They're going to say he gave me the money for the and that's what he's used to so when you pulled upon him to actually come into the relationship and have something to offer of his character his self his spirit baby he ain't got that he don't have it and it came out it came out and by you standing your ground okay this man has had to figure out how can he re-enter your life all he can come up with to do knight of wands knight of pentacles energy is come back with another offering and come back with renewed passion okay what can i do but i'm telling you you're in a you're in a calmer space than he is at this point two of cups once again he's running back to this trying to say okay regroup because you've made this man feel like he failed at retaining your love and affection and i'm gonna tell you something he did fail at retaining your love and affection okay he didn't do he didn't do what he was supposed to do he did fail at retaining your love and affection it ain't no ain't no ain't no mystery about it he did he didn't show up and do what he was supposed to do he showed up and thought that the chicken legs and the bottle of Syrah, that he thought that was going to cut it. He did. I'm serious. That he thought that pineapple Syrah was going to put y'all back in the game. And you was like, no, son. <laughs> a 
okay? So this man is running back, trying to get in lover's energy with you. I mean, come on. Brenda. Come on, you, it's me. It's Greg. Open the door. I'm at the back door. Yeah, I'm pulling up, okay? And he's going to try to get back in lover's energy. We see the Knight of Swords coming through. This man is going to try to kind of rush. I keep We keep seeing that energy. Kind of rush his way back into it. Okay, Ace of Swords in reverse, but you say, baby, the devil is a lie. Okay, that Ace of Swords in reverse say the devil is a lie, baby. You're not finna let this man rush back up in your life like that. Huh? Huh? Girl, you're not finna let him just come run back in off the street like that. He got it. He got it twisted all around. Okay, Two of Wands. You want to know what his plans are? Okay, before you put your emotions back on the line, Two of Wands, Ace of Cups, energy in the upright with the Will of Fortune. And this is where the twist of fate comes in. Oh, yeah. We just seen a couple of twists and turns here because the truth is some of the more um, uh, divine elements of this relationship, they have not manifested because they can only ma manifest through you. You have to consent to them. Okay, um, that's a big part of the conversation here. If you do not consent to these things, if you do not consent to letting this man in your life, there are some things that will not happen. And his ancestors know that because remember, we saw them looking at him like he was crazy when this reading started, okay? We saw that at the beginning, okay? This man is not, he, you know, he's coming back, but he coming back like, just give me one more chance, Brenda. That might not really be where your head is. You understand what I'm saying, Connie? That might not really be your 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 taste, Tanya. Okay, that might not really be what you want. Um, we just gonna go ahead and see. You know, there there is some level of twist of fate coming to this. Okay, this man tries to run back up into your life, sister. What is it giving? Okay, I'm just asking questions. Moving on, letting go, loving you free. So this is how he finds you upon return. This is how he finds you. This man finds you like you really didn't kind of free yourself from it. So by the time he returns, that lets me know he waited too long. He did something stupid. He let his pride and his ego and all this kind of nonsense have him sitting off to the side with his face furrowed up. And he missed his opportunity. He really did. But this man does try to run back to you. Okay, by this point, you're in a pretty free space. Like we saw down here, you're just like, well, what are your plans exactly? What are you calling me back for? Because I ain't, I ain't really like, you know, once you went out that door, I kind of shut it. No shade, but I moved on. So the question becomes at this point, like what, you know, what's to it? What you, What is it giving? What's to it? What are you doing? Okay. So we see phony, trickster, <laughs> illusions. Y'all, this man going to start calling you fake and phony. He going to be like, I thought you loved me. I see a meltdown on the horizon. I actually do. I see a meltdown on the horizon. Um, once you are not interested in this man, this man really is going to be on some like run away with me. I literally just heard a Marie say, y'all. Come with me tomorrow night, guarantee. He gonna try to run back in on some, why don't we fall in love? He's gonna try to get you to, y'all. He's gonna try to get you to not ask him any questions about what's been going on in his life by saying, hey, let's just run away together. He don't wanna talk about no karmics. He don't wanna talk about what his plans are or what he plans. He's gonna try to come back and say to you, let's just run away together. I just heard another one, y'all. I heard another song, A Star's. We've come so far, stars look up at you, baby. Kendra, the family song. So, they look up at us, baby. He's going to try to romance you. He's going to try to come back and just say, oh, let's not think about it. Let's just look at the stars. Let's just, why don't we fall in love? Let's just run away together. Girl, this man finna come back with A. Marie under one arm and Kendra, the family soul up under the other. And he's going to try to tell you, like, this is it. This is it. This is it. Let's don't don't ask me about my secret accounts. Don't ask me any. But sister, I see you got some secret accounts too. Like that just came to me. So this man gonna try to come and be like, yo, let's just jump into it. Let's just dive into it. Okay. Look, I'm hearing if you really, really want it, all you gotta do is 
get up on it okay this man is like just come on get up on it let's he's gonna be so impetuous he's gonna just try to romance you with the idea of we're gonna run away together he is gonna truly try to romance you with that like come on let's just get in the car i'm hearing justin timberlake hop in the car come with me he's gonna try to just take you on this ride of like just come with me don't ask no questions, baby. This is romance at its finest. Let's just run off, okay? But you're going to be like, baby, you left me hanging. Huh. You walked out the door on me, the door on me, the door on me. He don't want to talk about that. He going to be like, yo, the past is the past. You know how the past becomes the past with somebody that did wrong. Why you always bringing up old shit? He going to try to play that role. You want him to be accountable for how he treated you. But this man is thinking that if he just runs in the door fast, like his feet is on fire. Y'all saw that Knight of Wands with an offering. Y'all saw that Knight of Pentacles. He is going to be able to like, he thinks this is romantic. You have to understand, not only is this man immature, he also doesn't really know what romance is if you understand what i'm saying he does not really know y'all i'm dead ass he doesn't really know what romance is okay um he doesn't really know how to love he doesn't really understand all of this so understand that in his mind this this knight of wands immaturity let's just run away let's run off into the woods and be naked in the riverside he really believes <laughs> that that is the way to do it. He doesn't think that it's necessary for y'all to sit down and have those conversations. He's trying to distract you, but he also believes that isn't this what women want? You know, I'm seeing this man may have seen a Julia Roberts movie or two, and he's thinking, isn't this what women want? Don't you want somebody to just grab you and run? Let's just run away like two kids. And he believed it, y'all. Okay, he believes this, but there was a period of time when this first started where you did experience some anxiety as your relationship began to fall apart. You may have lost some sleep over him flat out walking off like that. And once you said, if he'll walk off like that, you're in an energy of like, you know what, if you'll do that to me once, you'll do that to me again. And he tries to come back and say, I'm making, I'm, I'm making room for you in my life, baby. Come on, baby, let's, let's go. Let's run. And you're like, yeah, I don't trust you. I don't trust you anymore. Okay. Off and on, hot and cold, detached. This man, by him creating this hot and cold dynamic, because he walked out and then he stayed gone because his ego was this and his balls was hanging like that. When all of that happened, when all of that occurred, um, listen, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't quite percolate for him. You understand me? Um, it, it didn't work out for him. It's the reason why he can't get the trust and come back into the situation. It also gave you time to detach emotionally because you felt ghosted by this little tantrum, this little fit, okay? This little fit that little Philip had on his ass. You felt ghosted by that. You felt like he was not... You understand? You felt disrespected. You felt betrayed. And because of that, you know, when you betray someone, okay, we saw it back here with the Five of Swords energy, it's difficult to just pop back up and say, hey, I'm sorry, let's just run naked in the forest. It's like, you know, you kind of took the whimsy of the relationship with you when you did the bullshit, okay? So you're not happy when he returns, okay? And this man is really struggling because he has memories of you happy and he knows that this is kind of something that he fucked up. So this man is like, okay, oh my God, you know, what am I supposed to do now? Um, he's dealing with a level of kind of confusion. It's kind of like, okay, now what? Very much a now what kind of energy um, because he doesn't quite know what to expect or how to get out of this karmic ties. Okay. This man has lowered the frequency of this relationship with his behavior. And what he didn't know is that you could eat that type of shit. You ate that girl. You ate that sister. Like he pulled that move on you and walked off. You didn't call him back. You didn't chase him. You simply healed. Okay. You gave him healed. You gave him bionic woman. And he tries to come back and it's just kind of like how. Okay. It's giving very much how. It's giving very much how. You licked the knife on him, girl. You just was like, yeah, I can take that. And I'm good. Like you, you took it and you're good. You're like, I saw your true colors. 
Okay, I am a whole divine feminine over here. Okay, you may have also gotten readings about this, or this may be the reading you're getting about this. Um, and you're kind of seeing in it like, you know, I'm straight on you. Like you, 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 you collapsed and ran off at a crucial point in the relationship where there was room for spiritual in intervention, where his ancestors were, pu were pushing him along where you were actually open and dependent on him while you were giving him the love and you were trying to kind of work with him on his emotions and things like that. This man decided that because things weren't going exactly the way he, he would have them go, that this is a great time to prance off into the night air. And for that reason, you kind of were like, oh, okay, wow. Is that who you are? So you moved on to practicing self-love while this man was away. You really pulled yourself out of it because this man left you in a position that had you not had your spirituality more intact, had you not had your self-love situation more intact, this man would have left you in chaos, ego death, downward spiral, spiritual awakening. However, this is where he was left as a result of what he did to you, thinking that you should have been chasing him because he came over there with a little bottle of rock pineapple and some chicken nuggets it's for the kids that that's not what we do over here that's not what we do over here okay so you replace you replace one of the speakers in the, in the uh chevy malibu so what so what that's not going to get you what you're looking for over here okay and so this man is in a position where he now feels like he's experiencing you know falling apart like oh my god you know what have i done and that's kind of the energy that brought him back to you when he thought hey if i just come back and say look let's forget everything that happened in the past let's just run out of here and be in love he thought that would work this man's a jackass thank you spirit i couldn't have said it better this man's a jackass he made a complete ass of himself um in this situation he made an ass of himself i mean he made an ass of himself. I, I don't know. I don't have nothing else to say. Um, this man made an ass of himself and he knows it. He knows that he pretty much unalived himself with you. Okay. Uh, this man is not going to take it well. Psycho, crazy ex, obsessed, won't let go. He's not going to want to just run away from the relationship and hide because he's not going to want to accept that he failed. And it was one of those failures that was very much self-fulfilling prophecy failure. You know what I'm saying? It was the type of failure that could only happen because you fucked yourself you were working with it even he had even spirit on his side and his ego he allowed his ego to just dictate the play and it did not work for him okay and he's not gonna want to hear hey i'm not dealing with you because he's gonna feel like he failed he already feels like he failed that's why he tried to come back okay so he's gonna once again try to pitch this to you he's gonna be very adamant about this come on don't do this let's just live in the moment forget about the past Put on your shoes. Let's go. Let's run. Let's be in love. Okay. He's really going to try to push this, but it's too late, guy. It's too late. Okay. It's too late. You're keeping secrets to yourself. Look at this. Secrets and secret accounts. You don't want to discuss your innermost thoughts with this man anymore. You don't trust him. He ran off with your innermost thoughts the last time. You wouldn't want to share financial information and business with this man because you don't trust him anymore. When this man bailed out on you, he showed you he was a bailer outer. Even though there are some setbacks to it where he's got some things to learn, spirit did use you as a tool to teach him a thing or two in your absence. Okay. But overall, you're just like, yeah, I saw what it gives, like being with you and I, I just wasn't here for it. Okay, this takes a surprising turn. Okay, as I said, in this man's mind, we saw this, the wheel of fortune came through the building back here that he tries to run back. Okay, but the door is closed okay but he does try to run back um you're not interested in sharing any additional information with him this man's gonna be upset we do see him possibly drinking you might start to notice that he's going to bars more he's trying to hang out he's trying to be seen he may even be trying to put this on social media like he's smiling all the time he's so happy okay trying to mirror back to you it is about you sis when you see him down there at the five and dime piggly wiggly eating hot wings and tater skins and pork rinds it is about you that he wants you to see. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. So you don't want to be back with me. Cool. You know, my pork rind still pork rind. You understand me? I'm down here with my duff beard. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing me. You you feel me? He He's in that type of time. And so he's hoping that that'll be enough. Okay. He's hoping. I'm just going to give it to you straight. Okay. He's hoping. And when he sees that that didn't work, you are going to start to see 
the meltdown, if you will, the shame, the guilt, the embarrassment on social media when he starts to look like a party guy, you know, like you're, you're like trying to act like you're like a party guy. That's when you're going to see like, oh yeah, he's doing too much. Okay. This man is fed up and overcome with thoughts and fucked up over you. Okay. He's got a million thoughts on his mind about you because he knows that he blew it. And now he's fucked up over you. He knows that he blew it. Um, he knows that he created a love-hate dynamic, okay? He created an off and, off and on, hot and cold, detached feeling for you in you. And now he's like, how do how would I ever get out of this, okay? He blew it. No strings. It's like you don't have that feeling for him anymore. And you're ready to close the cycle, okay? This man is like sitting back wishing, like I wish I had got her pregnant or something. But that's because that actually was something that was supposed to occur between y'all. You would have to let that happen. And you're not willing to let it happen. This is it's bas basically giving. Okay, look, you turned your back, girl. I, I can't say it no more. It's basically giving that he broke your heart and you accepted it. And he didn't think you would do that. He thought that you would fight to unbreak your own heart. You did not do that. You said, I see that this man could take my heart and go, Psh, okay? And that legit was all you needed to see. You're one of those girls. He didn't know that. He thought that this was just going to be a part of a toxic cycle. It never occurred to him that you would just turn your back and keep on moving. Okay. That he wouldn't even really be able to locate you. So now he feels like shit. And we're not talking about locate you as in can he find your social media? Does he still know where you live? Does he still know your phone number? Of course he does. But we're talking about being able to locate you spiritually, mentally, sexually. He can't locate you. He can't locate, locate your spirit anymore. He never saw that happening. This man truly believed that he was going to be able to be in a position with you where listen, in a position with you where he really thought this let's run away together thing was going to work. I, I just, okay. He really thought that was going to work. We see angels. We see playfulness. Okay. This man is like, he may be praying for things to go back to the way they were, but this is the way that the ancestors, y'all's ancestral energy, they wanted it to be that because one of y'all may be either an only child or somebody that doesn't really have a lot of support and y'all spirit guides were like, this could work. What I just say, this could be the one, but he, he blew it. He blew it. He created it where it became toil and labor. It became too difficult for you. You was like, I don't want to, I don't want to live like if this is what it is, and you just bail at times when it's tough. You was like, nah, I, I don't want that. Okay. Soulmates, okay. The butterfly, okay. Relationship evolving to the next phase, okay. Soulmates and the relationship evolving to the next phase. Okay, but then we see stabbed in the back. Okay, heartbreak. So we see here, we basically see. Um, if we were looking at the tarot, that is, okay, we're basically seeing here, um, I don't want to say the two of cups, the four of wands, and eh, maybe the two of cups, the death card, and the five of swords. So what was supposed to happen between y'all kind of got turned into a negative situation. We saw the five of swords back here where you felt betrayed, okay? And that was the truth of the matter. That's when you saw who he was. The sword and the rose. That would give us ace of swords energy if we were pulling from the tarot. You saw who he truly was. You saw what it really gave, okay? Healthy choices. And you made healthy choices for yourself, okay? In love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. You went with the nine of pentacles. You said, you know what? I choose myself. I don't have to deal with this. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Psalm 37 and 23 on period. Okay. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Psalm 2 and 12. So you knew who to turn to when this man brought this three of swords, five of swords style energy into your life. You knew heartbreak and Lord of sorrows. You said, I'm not giving that. I'm not giving into that. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 118 and 29. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. Psalm 37 and 5. Okay. 
I will lie down and sleep in peace. Yes, God, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalm 4, 4 and 8. Yes, Lord. Okay. I got to give y'all that again. I will lie down and sleep in peace for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalm 4 and 8. Yes, Lord. Okay. The Lord watches over all who love him. Psalm 145 and 20. Come on. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Mm. Mouth orchid communication, listen and speak with greater care. And that is really the lesson to this man in all of this. He didn't listen to you with care. We've seen a hundred times he wasn't speaking with care. He didn't know how, understood. But those lessons are lessons that he's going to have to get in the spirit realm. Because even though there was marital energy that could have happened here, this man's focus on karmic feminine energies as in this man's focus on this being the way you supposed to treat a woman you understand me this being the way that you're supposed to do it this how you supposed to move mm -mm. Mm -mm. he did it all wrong thinking that he could treat a divine feminine energy like he treated those karmics okay you felt stabbed in the back and betrayed okay you can't just bring some, uh, you know, liverwurst and crackers over here and think that's going to be enough, okay? So this has been a karmic lesson for him, okay? It is something that cost him. We saw at the beginning of this reading, didn't we? He was going to lose something dear to him before it was over with. It cost him your love because you rejected him. Listen, spirit is not changing this message. This man does come back to you. He does come to you and try to say, let's run off together. You know what I want to know though? Because he going to try to come back with an offer and what that is. What are you going to try to offer you? You didn't did all this damage. You know, they do that. Jay. I got something for you. What, what can you possibly give me at this point? I ain't on that with you no more. Playboy. Okay, what you what you talking about? Now you can come back here talking about you got a whopper or something like that. I don't want that. I don't even eat that. Hmm. What is this man going to try to offer our sister, honey? Look at the three of cups. Was struggling to get out the deck. So we know he's going to offer some bullshit. He's going to offer you what he would offer them, girl. Yeah, he finna offer you what he would offer them, girl. Get ready for some Sutter home. What does he offer her? Seven of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Okay, so he definitely comes with an offering. Okay, something he didn't thought about. Something he thinks will plant a seed. Something he thinks will put something on your mind is what he's planning to give you. Okay. <laughs> the emperor okay all right okay is this incredibly home video or something is it who's is someone kidding i know y'all didn't just give me the emperor am i being taped is this the bloopers i know y'all didn't just give me that y'all oh gosh listen this man comes back to you and basically offers you him. The conversation that he tries to bring to you, he tries to sell you on. If you, if somebody, you, somebody wants a baby and he's going to try to use that baby to leverage the situation. Uh, we see this with the Ace of Swords and the Two of Cups. Okay. And the Nine of Wands. He's going to really put his ego on the line. He's been very lonely without you. Okay. Um... <clears throat> And he comes back and puts it all on the line and really tries to sneak his way back in and change the direction of things because we know the direction things is going in. You ain't going, okay? But this man comes back to you because he really feels like he's been left out in the cold. He's lonely. He misses you. He's embarrassed, okay? And he tries to come back to you to balance things out. But let me tell y'all, this offering that he's going to make you, child page of pentacles there. Look, look, it's the time for this shit. The king of cups. The offering that this man is going to try to make you, And we saw it with that emperor. He basically just, just tries to come back and say, now you got me. That's kind of the offering. You know, He that's the run away together. You got me. Let's run away together. Let's just be together. Let's just spend our days together. You can text me. You can call me. We're going to rip. We're going to run. He tries just to run back to you with that. And say, you got me. I'm here. I'm here, baby. I'm here. I'm here. It's me. I'm here, kid cups. I'm sensitive. I'm sweet. I'm going to relax. I'm not going to be out here in these streets, baby. Four swords. Page of Pentacles, baby. You can have any of the little bit of money I got. I ain't got $50. You want $30? You want $30, baby. You can have that. 
Death card energy. I'm trying to change for you, baby. I'm trying to change. I'm trying to bring balance to the situation with this justice. Girl, you got me feeling like I'm left out here in the cold. Girl, you know I, 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 I love you. You got me out here in the cold. I'm trying to change for you, baby. I'm trying to change. Look at me. I'm trying to sneak back into your life. I'm like, damn, baby. I've been lonely. I'm not hurting. Come on. Come on. Let's be, let's be together. Let's be together. I'm telling you the truth. Ace of Swords. I'm telling you the truth. I really want you. Let's just talk. Let's just talk. I'm ready to be a stand up man. You can have me. You can come be with me. I'm going to be a pillar in your life. I'm willing to give you. I'm willing to give to you. I've been looking things over, baby. I've been doing some thinking. I've been doing something. I've been saying, I'm willing to go see the lady, baby. I go talk to the therapist, whatever you want to do. I, I don't. I know you ain't like them hoes out there in them streets, baby. Girl, we ain't got time for this bullshit. If you have enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot team, please go ahead, sister. Like, share, subscribe, okay? Don't be afraid. Go ahead and hit that bell, okay? <laughs> if you would like to be here next time me and the T-Team chop up some of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you would like to make a little love offering to this channel, okay? Go ahead and hit me up at DFTarot at PayPal or CashApp.com. And as always, y'all, I will catch y'all in the next one.